Oh, rip. Tell me more after, because we are going into losers' quarters right now. <laughs> Go. All right. Starting it off, we got one of girls Zaltus versus Child. I think the last time, I think the last time Child ended up beating Zaltus, and she was not too happy about that. So I think she's she's here with a new, with a newfound confidence now that she has that win on Morpheus, and I think she's gonna make something big happen today. All right. When when winners finals comes around, guys, we have a, I, I we I have a hype, uh, some hype for that, but we'll get there. Anyways, go on. Choco Taco, talking about the losers' quarters match we got right now. Yes, yes, I am. Already, Zaltz is doing a great job, just nickel and diming as a child, saying, "You know what? I'm not gonna play your game. I'm not gonna deal with the shenanigans. So let me punish it." All right, forcing child to approach Luma. So I, I begin to notice a little bit more of why Luma is such a good, op good oh. tool. Oh, good punish. I've been noticing more like Death? no, no, no. no. She's good, she's good. Go on. So Luma's a good tool. Luma's a good tool because it makes the duration of certain hits last longer, right? Right. But then it takes, but for example, when Child went for the Go side B, because it hit Luma, it's also had enough time to just get away from the situation. Because it took Okay, Luma. I see. Because it extended the hitbox, so Zaltus was able to recognize it and just be like, oh, let me get out of here. Yep. But did she get a punish? You're not wrong. Oh, death. I and mean, the only, only thing getting punished is that SDI child taking that first stock. Didn't we just watch this matchup? No, we watched versus Zero Suit. Never mind. I was like, wait, why does this look familiar? Yeah, three bales in top eight. I'm not surprised. Ooh, unfortunately, oh, unfortunately, Oh, no! Child. TNF, child. I'm Team no faith, baby. I'm pretty sure he wanted to just... Of B instead of side B. Yeah, probably. And that's a that's gonna be a rip from me, buddy. That's gonna be a rip from me. Rip from me, you guy. Once again, I know we've I've said I don't that SDI was not fantastic. It's not there. Hmm? I'm not seeing the SDI at all, and that's what's Oh, I was just commenting on it. As well yeah. That's like costing her so many stocks. If she can just and she has an easier time as Rosalina and Luma SDIing out of those combos too. So, I don't know. I think, I don't think the Rosa was doing bad. I just think she needs to work on her SDI. But I think, but I think she's gonna opt to switch to Lucina. So like, Villager? I, honestly, I think Villager, well, I'm not gonna say anything. Okay, so Villager doesn't do too bad in the matchup. However, uh, it's I mean, I don't know, man. <clears throat> I can't say I've seen this matchup at the highest level, so I have not seen Renai fight any Bayonetas. Definitely. I mean I've seen Renai versus Tyroy and it's like Oh happy? Yeah. How'd that go? Um, I think Renai won. Renai the god. Yes he is. I can see Villager. I can see some of his tools being nice in this matchup, especially when you don't have to worry about which time, but so far it's, uh, it's looking rough. That being said, I don't think Lucina does well against Bayonetta at, at all. Watching MK Leo would make you think otherwise because he like slays Bayo with Marth, but I don't know. I still think, I think like every other Marth thinks the matchup is booty. Yeah, I think, I think that's just a, a combination of just good fun, like long term oh, yeah. fundamentals and everything. And he's like 17 or something. <laughs> 16. He has, he has the time to learn. He spent his whole life learning Smash fundamentals. So Zalt is going to set up the tree and just try and poke with safe damage. Tree's gone now, though. Child's going to find his way in, and that back air is actually going to kill. That's crazy. Ooh, the immediate, the immediate attack is going to get which time. Child always looks for that, and everybody gets caught by it. Yep, yep. Child loves when you come back from the stock, just witch timing immediately. He's like, mm, free... HP or er, percent lead. Mm. We actually got a we got Fuji in the chat. Maybe he can shed some light on us what he thinks about this matchup. What do you think about this matchup, Fuji? Fuji, the villager god, the resident villager god, I should say. All right, not gonna get conversions off of that one. Right now, he's also just having a hard time finding finding her way in. It's good for villager that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She went for it. It's good for Villager that she doesn't that Villager doesn't really need to play next to Bayo. 
Yeah. But when Villager has his deficit, that's when I think it's uh, it's Villager's hardest position. Yeah, Bayonetta, her ability to just traverse space so quickly with the ABK makes it very, it seems like anyways, it makes it very easy for her to get in through Villager zoning like that and then just kind of do this and that's then it. win like that. Zalta's shaking her head like, nope, that did not go well. I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna make sure after but I'm done.